I don't think you guys understand how excited I am to finally be filming this video. I have been wanting to create home content on this channel for such a long time. As many of you may know, my family and I recently moved into our new home in October of 2021. We built this home from the ground up. It took us like four years to build. A lot of love, sweat, and tears went into this home and every inch of it is like, like what we imagined and what my husband and I talked about for many, many, many years. So the fact that I'm finally sitting down and filming my very first home related video is so exciting for me. I truly, truly believe that our homes or our living spaces are an extension of who we are as people. The way that you decorate your home and make it feel is also going to have an impact on how you feel on a daily basis. When I wake up in the morning, I want to feel cozy and comfortable and I want to look around and see all of the things that make me happy and just get me inspired and excited for the day. So I'm going to be sharing with you some of the tips and tricks that I have learned over the last couple of years of working on our home and decorating our home. Like I mentioned, we moved in only a few months ago in October so we still have a long ways to go we still have a lot of decor and furniture to get in order but there are a few spaces in our home right now that I feel like pretty content with at this point and I want to show them to you as examples to hopefully inspire you in creating your own little oasis before I hop in today's video I quickly want to thank karma for sponsoring this portion of this video I've talked about karma Karma so many times on my channel before because it's an app that I continuously use. It helped me save so much money when I'm shopping online. And now that I'm shopping for furniture and decor and coffee table books and candles, you name it, it's been such a lifesaver. So I'm going to quickly show you how I use my Karma app to shop smarter and save money whenever I shop online. Okay, so let me quickly show you how I use the app to not only save money on anything and everything from fashion to decor, but also how you can get cash back on your online purchases. To create a free Karma account, just click on the sign up link in my description box and follow the step-by-step -step instructions. Install the blue button onto your internet browser and then when you are browsing around on the internet or if there are items you know you would consider buying if they came back in stock or went on sale, find those items, click the blue button and save it to your Karma account. This is basically like your own private shopping page of all the items you've tagged. You can organize these items into customized lists and you can also share these lists with friends and family. If anything you tagged comes back in stock or goes on sale, you will instantly get a notification in real time via mobile push or email. I love using the Karma wishlist feature to keep tabs on hard to find items such as these Fornicetti pieces I'm obsessed with. All you have to do is search for the pieces you've been keeping your eye on and you can either check out and take advantage of Karma's discounts and cashback feature or save it to your Karma wishlist in case there's a price drop. I also like using the save feature to help me compare prices of similar items across several retailers. It's a great way to give you the confidence in knowing you're getting the best deal possible. Since Karma is partnered with thousands of online retailers, when you shop from their select partners, Karma gives cash back to you and a good cause. My favorite feature of all is this little pop-up that comes up at checkout that scans the internet for the latest coupons with a click of a button. This is a special feature only available on computers, making the Chrome extension a must. It's honestly the best and most effective way to get the items you're lusting after before anyone else, get ahead of the sales, and make sure you're getting the best deal possible. I'll leave the sign up link in my description box so you can download Karma for free. So when it comes to the basics of your home, like the wall color, the floor finishing, I truly believe that a neutral color scheme will not only look a lot more high end and luxury, but it's also going to create the perfect canvas for you to add those little pops of color. If that's what you like, if that's what makes you happy. I feel like when you have too much color in a space, the vision kind of gets lost 
lost in translation and the room itself or the space itself starts to look very cluttered and it really distracts the eye and you don't really know where to look. So if you notice in our home, we have white wainscoting all throughout our home. It's very clean, which is the perfect canvas for putting up artwork or decor. So the focus and the attention is on that specific piece. Segwaying into my next point that I think makes a home look more expensive is using black and white photos. It's another type of neutral way to make your home look more luxe and expensive. And I feel like there's something about a black and white photo that adds so much character to it. When you're playing with black and white photos, it's a lot easier to layer and combine a lot of other photos together in the same area without it looking too cluttered and like it's too much. I also love using simple, clean frames with my black and white photos. I feel like it's a great way to accentuate it without taking away from the art itself. And you can find these simple frames anywhere. A lot of brands make really high quality ones. I think I have a couple from Umbra. This particular one that I'm gonna be showing you in this B-roll of this woman covered in 3D florals that's up in my closet. This frame I'm pretty sure I got from Amazon. If you guys were interested in checking out any of the examples I'm showing in this video, I'm gonna try to find and link whatever I can in my description box down below because I know I'm gonna get so many questions about it. So make sure you check my description box for those. One of the additions that we did in our home in a lot of our spaces, specifically shelving, is adding up lighting to those units. I think it makes such a dramatic difference. It really makes the shelves look like they're from a luxury boutique and it makes whatever is on the shelf the centerpiece of your attention. So I have up lighting throughout my closet on all of the shelves. My shoes have up lighting, my bags have up lighting, everything that I have on display in my closet has up lighting and it just illuminates the room and makes it feel like a store every time I come into my closet. I do not want to show you guys my entire closet just yet because I will be filming a closet tour video, hopefully very, very soon. I feel like I'm at the point now with my closet that I'm very content with the way that I styled it and set everything up. I just also need to coordinate with my husband because I would love for him to be a part of this video because he was such a huge part in helping me bring my vision to life and he really was hands-on with this project and even he says that my closet is probably his favorite room in the house because there's so much detail and so much thought that went into designing my closet that I feel like it needs its own dedicated video. So I promise that video is going to be coming soon. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna show you little sneak peeks of what I'm talking about so you guys have an idea of what I mean. So yeah, my point is that up lighting really makes a dramatic difference in a space. And I know that you can get inexpensive up lighting on Amazon. You can get like those strip lights if you don't have a big budget to spend on like custom up lighting. So I will try my best to find alternative options for you guys and link them in my description box. So I love, love the look of real flowers and plants, but I am the first to admit that I do not have a green thumb and I am totally incapable of letting real plants and flowers survive. I know it's very sad and I wish that weren't the case. I wish that I was, you know, really on top of it and I was a good plant mom. <laughs> I was able to nurture my plants so that they're thriving and looking and feeling their best, but that's just not me. So so in my case, I love the look of plants and flowers and I really feel like they add a lot of interest and texture and it just makes a home feel more homey. So I try to find faux flowers and faux plants that are super high quality and look like the real thing. So recently my husband and I found this stunning drop dead gorgeous bouquet of white flowers and every 
everything from the petals to even the water is fake but it looks so real that every time someone comes into our house and compliments this bouquet of flowers they're flabbergasted when i tell them that nothing about it is real except for the glass vase so it just goes to show that now there's so many incredible alternatives out there my favorite type of plants now are the ones that look and feel like the real thing but they require zero maintenance so if you guys were interested in checking out some really high quality faux plants i will try to find some options below and i'll try to link this specific one because this one that we found was very very hard to find i'm not even sure if it's available anymore but it's truly truly one of my favorite decor pieces in our house right now so probably the easiest way to make your home look more expensive is just to completely get rid of all clutter one of my biggest pet peeves is when i step into someone's home and they have so many tchotchkes as my dad likes to call them it just really really distracting you don't know where to look i also feel like claustrophobic sometimes looking at all of these different decor items that are piled on top of one another there's like no space to move so if you want to make your space look more spacious and more clean and more high-end declutter 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 i always say that minimalism is a lot better than maximalism when it comes to home design so when it comes to putting decor items on display and making them look good i found that creating levels and also depth will make them look a lot more high-end and expensive one of my personal favorite ways of displaying certain decor items are by using display stands for example i have these really beautiful acrylic book stands that i like to display some of my favorite coffee table books on in my closet i have some shoe stands that i am using to display some of my shoes i also have mannequin heads to display some of my favorite hats so when you use special display stands like that to highlight specific items it just puts the focus on that item and makes it look more like a piece of art rather than just random decor item that's lying around if you're living in a home that kind of feels outdated and kind of needs a little rejuging one of the easiest ways to make your home look more expensive is to swap out the hardware anywhere you you feel like you need that kind of an update. It could be the door handles in your home. It could be the cabinet knobs or handles. Usually you can find some really beautiful and luxurious hardware that doesn't cost a lot of money, but when you make that swap over, it makes all the difference in the world. I think sculptures really add a kind of classic, timeless elegance to a space, especially if it's like that white alabaster color I just think there's something about it that is so regal and looks so expensive we have a few sculptures in our home that we love and adore that we think adds so much character to our space the key with sculptures is not to go overboard so we try to keep it to a minimum I have one sculpture in my closet that I love another one in my office that I love and my husband has this gorgeous Capricorn head in his closet that I got for him for his birthday like last year or the year before that he's obsessed with and I just think it's a very cool way to spice up a space and just make it look so much more luxe. Art books are another one of my favorite ways to add character to a space especially if it's something that you love and enjoy like I do. I love learning about different artists and photographers and learn about their work and learn about their personal history. For me it's just really Really fascinating and interesting and I feel like I get inspired by it so when you keep books in your home that are inspiring to you not just the coffee table books that everybody else has like the Tom Ford and the Gucci and the Louis Vuitton you guys know what I'm talking about keep books in your space that are not only aesthetically beautiful 
but that you can use and read and enjoy as well. I feel like when you are decorating your home as an extension of yourself and adding things into your space that you know you will love and use, you're gonna get that much more enjoyment out of it. So if you're trying to quickly spice up your home and make it look a lot more expensive, I think molding makes such a big difference. My dad recently renovated his home last year, which is a very, very old home. And one of the only things that he did in his home was swap out the molding. And that alone made such a huge difference and really lifted up the home. I feel like molding is kind of like eyebrows on a face. It really frames the home. It really opens it up and brightens it up, especially if you have like a really clean, neutral, bright paint on top, like a white or a super light beige. I think it really lightens up the space and makes the space look bigger and grander than it is. One of my favorite ways to accent a space like a coffee table or a console table and make it look more expensive but also kind of cozy and homey is with decorative candle holders. I feel like candles give you that homey and cozy feeling and when they're in a beautiful decorative candle holder I just think it looks so luxe and so beautiful. I love abstract candle holders. I think it adds a lot of character and uniqueness to a space and there's so many different ways that you can style it. You can put it straight up on your coffee table or console table or you can put it on top of a stack of books and it's a great piece to kind of add depth to a space. You can put it in front of something, in front of a picture frame or whatever you want and I think it always always looks amazing. So you might probably notice in a lot of the b-roll that you're seeing in this video that we have a lot of marble in our home and we love marble. We think that it really elevates a space and makes it look super luxurious and beautiful and high-end. I think if it's something that you can afford it's definitely something to look into because I think it makes such a huge difference in not only brightening up your space but making it look more luxe. I know that you can also find more budget-friendly alternatives if you go the porcelain route. Porcelain nowadays is so so good that it's nearly impossible to tell the difference between porcelain and real marble and truth be told we actually have porcelain in certain areas of our house because porcelain is way more resilient than marble. So for example our kitchen countertops are made from porcelain because otherwise they would just get absolutely destroyed especially with the toddler running around in the house. So there are more budget-friendly alternatives to get the look for less and if you are considering marble accents or porcelain accents don't think twice about it because I think in our home personally it has made such a big difference in how our home looks and feels. If marble or porcelain accents such as countertops and floors and backsplashes is out of your budget another way that you can kind of add a splash of marble into your space and still get that like luxe factor is with marble accents or accessories. I have a couple of beautiful marble accent trays on my bathroom counter that I adore and love and I think it really adds to my space and makes it look really luxe. I have one that I use for my hair care products and I have one that I use for my skincare. I also have one in my shower to hold some of my essentials and it just creates a really beautiful accent and you can usually find marble accents like this for super inexpensive. Most of mine are from CB2 and if they're still available I'll be sure to link them in my description box. You can also put like a really nice marble tray on top of a stack of books on a coffee table. I think that would look really nice too. So there's a lot of different ways that you can implement marble accents into your home and still make it look super luxe and expensive. Another type of accent that I think looks super luxe are brass accents, whether it's brass hardware. I have the most beautiful brass hardware in my bathroom. I might be biased about this, but I think it looks so amazing and so expensive. I was actually debating whether or not I should go with matte black hardware because I love the contrast of black matte hardware with white marble, but I'm really glad that I went with the brushed brass because I feel like it really elevated my bathroom and makes it look so good and so luxe. My 
husband actually did matte black in his bathroom and I think it suits him so much more because it's like very rugged and masculine. But if you did want to kind of amplify a certain space and make it look more high end, try adding some brass accents. You can also add brass around your home with accent mirrors or with other types of accessories. I just think that brass is like a really beautiful material that looks really elevated and beautiful. Speaking of mirrors, I think mirrors are so, so, so essential and completely game-changing in a space. Mirrors bring light to an area, they reflect light, they also make a space look bigger. And I'm very, very particular about my mirrors. I'm actually working on creating a custom mirror from my office right now because I want something very specific and I want to be able to use it for taking outfit shots and other types of content in front of and also like having a really beautiful mirror in my space for whatever reason makes me really really happy. I just love looking at beautiful mirrors and beautiful artwork and seeing how it all works together and just makes a space look so beautiful and so unique. So this next easy way to amplify your space and look more expensive is something that I would love to give you an example of but at the moment we don't have any window treatments or drapes or anything like that in our house. We are currently having them custom made so hopefully within the next few weeks we will have window treatments but I think changing your window treatments and updating them can make such a big difference in your space and really open it up and brighten it up and make it look more modern and fresh. So if you were looking for an easy way to make your home look more expensive, definitely look into changing up your window treatments because I think it makes such a big difference. All right, you guys, so that wraps up today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my link below to download the Karma app for free. It's been such a game changer in helping me save money online whenever I'm doing my shopping, whether it's clothing related or baby related or home related. You're honestly going to love it. I know so many of you already use the app and always tell me how big of a game changer it's been for you. So that makes me so, so, so happy to hear. I want to know from you guys what you think about my home videos. I'm thinking of making it like a series on how to improve your home and make your home look aesthetically beautiful and just hopefully give you some inspiration and tips and tricks from my personal experience. So let me know your thoughts on a series down below. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one.